Now for something a little bit different. I'm waiting at this uh, storage facility for my buddy because I was here Tuesday for an auction and I bought a trailer, a little five by 10 utility trailer. It's kind of funny because like three days before this, my uh, one of my good friends asked me, hey, let me know if you find a trailer like this. And he sends me a picture of a five by 10 trailer. He's like, I'm looking to upgrade mine. And uh, if you find one at auction or, or something that's not a lot of money, let me know. And uh, go to an auction Tuesday, live auction. And walking up to the last unit and they're like, well, we're selling this trailer. I'm like, I'm like I just start laughing. I'm like, really? Really? Because that's exactly what my uh, buddy Sean was looking for. So, uh, long story short, I ended up uh, winning it for, I think, $425. A little 5x10 tilt bed trailer with 15-inch uh, wheels on it. It's in good shape. I think they're, uh, right now, they're like $1,700 or $1,800 new for comparable ones. So, he's pretty excited about that. I, I don't have to make any money off of them. So, we're over here right now picking that up. But I have my trailer with me because I'm going to uh, pick up a vehicle. Oh, there you are. Sweet. Yeah, so as soon as we're done here, I'm going to pick up a vehicle I bought off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. So, we'll see you there in a little bit. I'll show you this trailer real quick. Comes with firewood. Not bad for the money, huh? I didn't think so. He don't think so. All right, see ya. Well, that was kind of a ordeal. <laughs> trying to get, uh, trying to get the lights to work in that trailer somewhat. We got the uh, left tail light to barely work. Pretty sure it's just a uh, bag round. They're taking care of it, but I'm late to go uh, meet this guy who only nine minutes from where we were at, so it worked out. Well, that was a lot more eventful than it should have been. It is what it is. But look, I got a, I don't know, like a 50 Chevy back there. You see it? Yeah. Sometimes I buy Chevys. Usually just to make some money. And I really hope it doesn't start pouring out. Got all loaded up for the uh, flea market tomorrow. Gonna get rid of a bunch of tools. I have been cluttering up my warehouse. Haven't been buying too many storage lockers, but I have been saving tools from them. So I go to the flea market maybe twice a year, maybe three times. Get rid of tools because that's the best way to sell them. Oh, yeah. I bought a genuine old Navy truck. Yep, this is a Navy truck from the, um, the old navies. Yeah, not the new Navy, the old Navy. This thing sailed with the Navy uh, performance fleeces. Yes, the Navy performance fleeces. In the uh, corduroids, in the denims, and uh, other assorted uh, Navy textiles. Okay. LD maybe price was right I can make a few bucks on it it's got the it's got the grill the front bumper the running boards in the back there and it's a five window variety no I'm not building this thing it is strictly going to get flipped so I can make some cash to buy more vans see vans well that one's not mine that one is all right I gotta go see you um well for you guys it'll be a few seconds but uh I'll see you in a few days I get back working on that
little bit of a job related uh, trip today. Bought me a storage locker. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's see what Jim bought today. So, bought a locker online. I haven't done this in a while. Little smash Mustangs over there. There's a S550 and it looks like a yellow fox, maybe? Huh, interesting. Well, there she is. Check it out. That, my friends, is a 1953 Ford Victoria. And that is an Edelbrock three deuce intake for a Y block Ford. Well, this, this should have had a flathead in it. Car's a little rough. Looks like there's two new old stock quarter panels up there. Those are 55 Ford. Paid. $1,550 for this locker. Yeah, the car's a little rough. So these cars, well, fun fact, I learned how to drive manual trans in a very similar car. When my father passed away, he had a 1953 Ford Custom Line, a two-door. So Custom Line two-door had post so it was a sedan this is a victoria so it's no post so it's a hard top um and he passed away he had this 53 ford and uh, i used to drive it up and down the driveway and around the backyard until uh, we sold it but that had a mercury flathead v8 in it oh check this out this is awesome is that cool or what wow Oh, look at that. That is so cool. All right. I'll uh, put you guys down and try to pull a few things out while I'm here. Let's see what I find. Looks like some aftermarket valve covers. Those actually look like FE Ford. I saw those in the pictures. Well, I saw that in the picture too, but... It's kind of unusual to have a Y block intake with a flathead powered car. So, let's see what I can find in here for a few minutes. So, normally I'd put this on my other channel, but uh, you guys might appreciate this one a little more. <sighs> What's in there? Those are Harley Davidson gloves. Alright. Try to pull some of this stuff out. And get over there. There's also some wheels here I want to take a look at. Those look like they could be interesting. Those are pretty cool. Old slots with the MH uh, Race Masters on them. 11 by 15s. That's pretty cool. They're Keystone slots. Well, they're not for this car. These are for a. These are for a sedan. So they're probably. Oh yeah, they're for a 52 to 54 uh, Club Coupe. It looks like or business coupe. There's two of them. Oh, and there's a new old stock Fender there, too. Sweet. And look at that. There's a flathead Ford on a stand. 
All kinds of, oh, there's another cool gas tank over there. So I found two full NOS quarter panels for a club coupe or a business coupe. They're not for a hard top. They'll work to repair. They'll work to repair the quarters on a hard top, but they're not correct. And I found a new old stock uh, right front fender. Here's a flathead. She looks like it was redone at some point. Don't look too bad. Well, that's a Y block rocker shaft. Huh. Somebody hit Y block at some point. <coughs> flathead bell housing. It's like maybe a nine inch carrier, some catalytic converters. All right, I'm gonna try to get the other side. The motor, nope, no motor. All right, let's see if I can get over here. Wait till you see this, this is cool. Remember I told you I thought those were FE valve covers? Check that out. That is so freaking cool. Those are heavy too, those are originals. So glad I bought this. I had to come back out because I forgot you guys. Check that out. It's a big set of Craftsman wrenches. I wonder if the title for the car is in here somewhere. Electric glide. Oh, it's a Harley Electric Glide uh, service manual, 1969. Ooh, spotlight. Oh, I made it back here. Oh, there's a Harley Fender. The grill bars for the car. Oh, it's one of those uh, faux Continental kits. Yeah, catalytic converters for something. Check this out. It's a Sun Combustion Tester. That's pretty cool. There's the uh, faux Continental kit I dug out. i pull that out with me right now. Right now I'm just pulling out stuff. Since I'm here, I'm just pulling out what I can. You don't see a Ford center section. So a flathead bell housing. It's a few catalytic converters. There's a flathead intake and carb there's the flat head cars pretty rough fortunately these cars don't have a lot of value to begin with this one's pretty bad i don't think anybody's gonna want this one to restore it's probably gonna make someone a great parts car That whole dash is worth some money. It's in good shape. Well, I'm better off selling the new old stock stuff separate from the car. Because uh, you sell stuff like that with the car, you're going to get less money. And let's be honest, I do this for a living, not for uh, the fun of it. I think this guy moved out of state and the car belonged to his father i think his father passed away that's the story i'm getting so it's unfortunate but it is what it is nice ramps all right well i'm gonna pull uh, a few things out of here get my truck loaded and get going because uh i got the comcast guy coming to my warehouse today because uh monday i got a call that my internet provider is disabling service to my building at the end of the month and they forgot to tell me so yeah now i gotta spend about twice as much on comcast every month but whatever it happens it's kind of 
roll with the punches sometimes. All right, I'm gonna get the truck loaded up and uh, get back to the warehouse. Maybe I'll try to work on that van today. We'll see.